Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A Vietnam veteran says he was not shocked when he got his draft notice. As Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer show us, Dennis McKay was only about a year out of high school. McKay says the draft notice was stated as a greeting from your neighbors, friends, and the President of the United States. He says there was no way to prepare them for what they were about to endure. There was people killed, there was people wounded. Dennis McKay wanted to make sure their sacrifices are never forgotten, so he spent years pulling together this book. You step off the airplane and the heat hits you and you know you're not home. McKay was a member of the Big Red One. We were there to survive and get through a year. McKay documented much of his time in Vietnam through his art, like this search and destroy mission. Just going through village and, and see if there was ammunition or see if there was any type of uh, explosives. He says intelligence would show how the Viet Cong was inside these small villages and they would go in and destroy everything. He remembers one mission when crews couldn't get to their squadron, so they slept in a bomb crater. We ran out of food, no water. Luckily, it did rain and we caught rain in our helmet. And that was our drinking water. As part of the engineer battalion, McKay spent many of his days here. That's a crew like ours. The road was Highway 13, but it was better known as Thunder Road. It was just an old dirt road and then we kept it going and we had to mine sweep and open it up every day. He says the VC would come in every single night and plant more explosives and sometimes the enemy came real close to base camp. I was on perimeter guard for the company and we heard an explosion. The explosion was at the officers club. There were 50 people inside. By hand, we'd start digging them out. He says eight people lost their lives that day. He says no place was safe, and as they were moving through the jungle, they had to watch every step. You'd hit, hit a tripwire, and this would fly and actually hit you in the, in the head and actually kill you at that point. He says then there were the ambushes. McKay says one time they were digging a foxhole at a base camp much like this. We start getting mortared and then the medic jumps in and people are screaming for medic and we have to hold the medic back because he's wanting to get out and we're still getting we're still getting shot at. We're Even under heavy fire, the troops continued to carry their wounded comrades, including their platoon sergeant. That's us actually carrying him to the chopper uh, and they were going to airlift him out then. McKay and the other soldiers were awarded a medal for their bravery. Our blood was, was rushing. Uh, you were trying to hurry and, get, and help people all over because people were screaming for medics and there was a lot of people wounded. He says it's fateful memories like this that inspire him to continue to paint. I named this the 10,000 day war. He says Vietnam lasted for 10,000 days and he's so thankful he survived his time in the jungle. I did it. And, and I was just hoping I'd come home and I did. Through these many paintings and the things found in these pages. McKay hopes his kids and grandkids will know what honoring that draft card truly meant. They've learned a lot that what I went through and far as uh, what it was like to actually be in a war. McKay says one bright spot was when the Bob Hope USO show came to entertain troops and he got the special invite to carry the luggage of Raquel Welch. He says he also got to sit out on the front row. He says that was sure a welcome change from being shot at. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Letter is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that Specialist 5, Dennis McKay, who served our country in Vietnam and was a member of the Big Red One. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you for your service. Thank you very much. Thank you, the United States. Thanks to all the vets. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.